Welcome back, fellow armchair generals. This is Gamer1745 here with my continuing playthrough of Railway Empire with the German DLC. And of course, I'm playing it with my good friend, I, the new IKB. Say hi, IKB. Everyone. And so he's going to help me walk through this, but I also want to um, tell you about the news. And um, as those who have been following this series, unfortunately not as many as I would like, um, but I want to continue it because I want to get through some important history lessons that we don't often talk about. And I just taken a quick look at their new DLC, which is France. They have a new one um, covering it up. And I do hope to get to this someday. They've been kind enough to give me the DLC. And it starts just after this DLC in France, just after the Franco-Prussian War. So, and dealing with the recovery of France and all of that so I suspect and I have specifically not tried to look ahead or read too much about um, the German DLC that we are we have been playing so as to keep both me and you um, equally um, where were we we're here somewhere oh, here we are um, Oh, that long ago? We've been, I guess, I haven't been playing enough of this. I've been playing it on my own, but been playing the U.S. missions here. Okay. Let's load this up. So I think we're going to lead up to, if not get into the Franco-Prussian War with the German DLC here. Okay. So, and it has been a while since I've been playing this. And IKB has been itching to get back into this. And we're going to take a quick look at our tasks. We need to um, boost the area of Hesse to um, 240,000 inhabitants in approximately a year plus a little bit more. And that is going to be our big problem here. I, wait, didn't we, did we already do this? We did. We did. I think there's another D. I think there's a later save. I think yeah. we're going to go back to this. Yeah. I got a lot of saves. We did. I'm pretty certain there's a later save. I know I did save things. I just may have scrolled past it all. Okay. Let's look for scenarios. Okay. Here, this... I didn't screw that up. Hope I didn't. Okay, yes, here we are. This is it. This is it for sure. Okay. Good. No, I didn't. At least I hoped I didn't screw this up. Okay, so we need to connect um, 750,000 people to our current network by 58, and we are in 55. So we are doing plenty good with that. So let's take a look. Yeah, this is this is where we left it off. Okay. Okay, express lines between places. Um, I've been experimenting a little bit with it, and they want to go from Cologne to Weimar. Now, to get an express line actually effectively to work, we would probably need to cut across a lot of this. Now, I'm not sure whether I want to do that or not. Do you think it's you worth could, it? You mean you could potentially connect the um we come through here. The, through. Yeah, if you connect it from the cotton through to the um the peat cutting place, you might be able to use that as Right.
Well, let's see what we can do here. This is actually, if we're going to be doing a actually bypassing that. Okay, we don't want to build bridges. I'd rather have a little bit. Okay, to effectively that's a problem. So they don't even they really want to keep that going fast. So this is what what I'm what I'm worried about here is getting from here to here without having to go up around that way. Right. Oh. I don't like let me I could trash this for the moment. I don't like doing this BS of you know building tunnels under things or whatever or bridges over things that just bothers my idea of aesthetics looks ugly looks too ugly yeah there is a there was a there was a thing to be said in favor of building sort of underpasses and overpasses because that is a lot a lot of um and sort of renovations where we've been rebuilding things they've been putting in sort of underpasses and overpasses to so that it's conflicting with where they want to go and why in this game it does sometimes turn out looking a little bit ugly yeah okay I'm becoming determined to do this so let's see let me just run get that train car engine whatever get that through there Thing. Gamer becoming determined. Maybe even that was a mistake. I know I can go back and quickly reload the save. Um, but what I want to see about doing. Uh, is that going to be just too tight? The turn. Yeah, okay, we're giving up on that. Let's let's go back and reload. Um Yeah, that's it. Okay. I think we're gonna do even more bypassing. Okay. The one thing you can't do in this game that you can do in real life is give an express train priority over other traffic so that it always goes yeah, first, first choice of route. That is definitely something that I have wished to do um, in this. I think instead of hooking up with that, um, well, let's keep this. I don't mind earthworks. I mean, they're they're definitely 
eating into the expense here. Oh, but we'd have to go across four tracks. No, that just makes it too much. So even if we come into here, Hmm. Okay, let's look at this. Now that would be way too much, I know that, but how sharp can we turn it? Okay. Yeah. to the mountain does gamer want to blow up this week yeah well see here we can come here and um, I don't know why it's giving me such problems on this but Could do that kind of thing. Let's no, we will. Okay, we could pull the tunnel. <laughs> oh. would not be the most insane thing ever done <laughs> look at that price though yeah that is that's a little little much I think we're gonna have to f I'm determined to do this but I think I think I'm gonna have to, to bow to reality of we I think need this four wide track running here and I think trying to put um, a bunch of um, crossing points to work your way across will just end up slowing down yeah. the rest of the movement too much and so we're going to not do that okay so now okay so we're going to give up that idea the other thing here is that we're looking at we currently well we need to expand our um, population and i forget which ones we were okay we can come down where well, we could connect to ohm that'll be a project um but we can also look at well let's look at all how do we get to ohm do we go through there? 500,000 for a tunnel? No, I don't know. Or do we... We need to go south around the mountain. Yeah, I... No, oh, this is... Start over. Just trying to sort of price this out. I do it a little more carefully. Okay, well that isn't um, an insane amount by any means. We can go north around it. Actually start up over here a little bit more. Hmm. Let's see, now okay, Ulm wants um, pig products, pigs. 
Okay, it has a pig farm down here, so that would actually, okay, that would be easy to do. What does it need? Um, okay, it's getting enough wheat, needs getting enough lumber, just really needs pigs. And vegetables or potatoes or whatever, okay. Now I, th were we thinking, I know it's been a while. Thinking about buying down into Zurich or, let's see, what's the price there? Ooh, that's a lot. No, we weren't thinking about going for the four million there, uh, I don't think. Three, yeah, I think we were thinking about coming up into here. Okay, so this would get our um, expansion territory, but we need to get a little bit more money for that. So let's not expand now, but let's come down here. Okay. Um, Hmm, do we know what castle that is? I don't right offhand. I'm going to post down in the comments what that is. Let's also see about, well, let's. Shall we have a look at what we've got? Um, Because we've got some tech points to research. We might be able to get the. um. Oh, tunneling kind of thing. Yeah, either reduce tunneling costs you know, or we've reduce something. Got that. We've got that, and we're so we're already factoring that in. It. So that was still huge going through there. Hmm. Do wonder if maybe it's time to push for a maybe push for what uh, the uh, new locomotive the class F that might be something to class F yeah well this is one thing that's hard for me to figure not that it's impossible just hard for me to figure with this game is okay speed 38 speed 34 tractive power 100 percent tractive power 51 percent okay i get the idea of that and um because um ikb explained it just if you haven't been watching all these episodes everyone um is the the bigger wheels move faster um, but the smaller wheel setups have more tractive power. You can have because you can have more wheels, and but they don't move as fast with this type of stroke engine. And so I, I get the the real world differences, and I'm not so much talking about that. What I don't easily get is a mechanism to know. We can obviously see here that this is going. 55 miles per hour and this is um, a holda here at 56 which was modified by um, other um, factors as in um, stoker or um, engine or uh, um, yeah engineer these guys here as well as potentially having a um, caboose that would boost the speed of the engineer. What I don't easily get to know without literally watching a train is at what point which cargoes are being significantly slowed up so that the actual slower train is actually faster. If you know what I mean. You know what you mean? You mean, I mean. So you know, like if we were hauling the vegetables, is that enough extra weight compared to say lo um, pulling mail that it doesn't have a lot of weight in this game? Where does this now? I can just okay. 38, 37. See, this is, okay, 37 versus 38. Only a mile an hour different. And up here we are at 103. So that's maybe where we want to go. 
Well, no, there's 41 miles an hour. So actually, well, this is 49. For Express. Actually, this would probably be a, uh, a better path up here. The Consolidated B. Yeah. Because then we can move to the Class 3B. Little less power, but more speed. So I just, I just don't know. And like we talked about with express trains, obviously you, um, again, one of the big failings of railways, though this game maybe a little overemphasizes it, is um, you. It's it's more difficult to pass. You're moving at the the rate of the slowest thing on the line. Um, yeah, I know in real life you can, you know, have bypasses and whatnot. And we could build them, but I don't think that this effectively side, you know, would um, sidetrack a slow thing to allow a fast thing through. Fast thing, I should say, train. So, hmm. I, that's just what I, I just don't know. Um, so I don't know whether... Just, from the yeah I'm looking at it from how reality yes you might have a slower top speed but because you've got a better tractive effort you'll have your theoretical top speed will be slower you'll be moving at a higher constant speed because you'll be able to go faster up the hills than you would have been with a locomotive that's got a theoretically higher top right. speed but less tractive effort Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And I wish there was a good way to determine what cargoes, what is the right balance. Because I... Does... I do think the game would benefit from having some um, um, table or chart that would show you where, it's, where it becomes worth it. In both... Okay. Well, they have these new... They've come up with a new... Um, Uh, length of route, engine types, these are just all sorting by waiting time by top speed. Mm -hmm. Go back to alphabetical. Um, if we look in the... Um... Is there one to show... If we look in the um the charts and graphs, is there anything in there? The left of the research tab. Okay, oh for the company here. This um company values quarterly reports for monetary situations, what my competitors are doing, and banking stuff is what this is. There's nothing speed now, related in here it just when you go here to the engines here it just goes back to passenger rating right. for this suitability express mixed freight And I've definitely thought about the possibility of for some of the um, between cities stuff for an express to ban the sort of store goods that are, you know, are manufactured goods from one city to another. But uh, I think we're already running too many trains in some of these cases that we are, um, you know, because here's 91% track use for yeah. And so I don't want to have a, like a freight in or freight trains going between two cities and passenger trains going between two cities and congesting things up even more because I think we need both. Yeah. Um, I think we will go for the consolidated B, but I don't think we're going to. I don't know. May, because see you know i just don't know 38 miles per hour for the the rhine here with 51 percent 
tractive power versus 35 miles per hour with 120% tractive power. And yes, if I had a specific route that needed to climb a hill a lot and carry freight, I know I would want to use the consolidated B. Just I, I get that. But I don't know where the point of best use for what cargoes. So I don't know. But uh, but we'll go down that track just for now because I think we would be better. 41 would be less of a um, uh, conundrum for me because it's closer to the fast train without being where we're still moving a lot of cargo. Okay, so I think we're going to come around here. So let's we're going to build for the future ohm. No, I don't like that. Oh, I can't just... Okay, we've got to start over again. Be a little more careful. Might be worth in places just accepting a few very, very, very short little bridges. Yeah, that would probably be a good idea. Even you know, along the side of... You know, whichever big is that like the Danube or something down there to the start of it? No, that is, no Danube's over here. Oh no, oh yeah, no, that may be the Danube. Yeah, you're you're probably right. Wow, I was thinking the Rhine when you were saying that, but yeah, you're probably right. That is the Danube. Because I want to go right along this same elevation here with just a little bit of earthworks. Obviously, I'm trying for that. Mm. It just oh there that could always I'm... just. To just pretend that the bridge is the um, is the drain from the castle moat up on top of the hill. <laughs> Good one. Yeah, that works. Yeah, you gotta have those. Yeah, gotta have those. Gotta be able to drain all of the uh, the sewage out of the guard robe that flows into the moat, haven't you? Yes. Uh, I specifically remember uh, dealing with ranches and dirt roads and hills and things being washed out in rare rains needing to do um, earthworks and piping under that to keep that from happening yeah uh. so let's see if we can move that there we go Okay, so that goes from there around to there. Now, that is much cheaper than going through the mountain 
from building standpoint. Now the question is, is long term, which is cheaper, going through the mountain and shorter rail distance or building this? I don't know, because obviously you need more trains running more often. Gamer, before you pay for it, make sure it's connected to the right. Um, yeah, I did, and I have already done side of the. And that, there we go. We've done that. Yeah, I think that's what we want to do. A. Hey. There we go. Okay, so. Okay. Now, before IKB needs to remind me some supply towers. This is going to be a long run, so we're going to do two supply towers on it. Well, that looks like a good spot right there. There we go. Now that's sort of a thing of beauty coming through there. Okay. So now we have that. Well, let's put a few more signals on this track. is a signal. Okay. Now from Stuttgart to Ulm. And we will run a Hulda. And well, let's see. We can put on a Stoker and a Conductor. Now, we're also going to start out with a one from Ulm to Stuttgart, so they're moving the opposite direction. Won't be quite as fast. And let them get going. What, they didn't even want to move mail? Hmm, how interesting. I know that they were the same basic products. Maybe they didn't know each other existed across the mountains? No. Possible. You mean there's a town over there? Okay, let's clone this train here. And let's come over here and clone this train. No, maybe. Although they're unhappy with each other, so we're going to break up that pair. Okay. Let's clone this train here. So there'll be another one starting. And we can give this one. Where is he? Here he is. We'll give him the conductor that didn't like the stoker. Still nothing? Nothing running? Wow. Maybe I had a very bad decision with all of that. No path. Is going the other way? Maybe. I don't know. They're somehow banning... No. Didn't ban mail or passengers. Okay, well... I do know that they want um, pigs. So, we have a pig farm down here. And I think we will just use a train station here. Who knows if we satisfied their um um demand for pigs, maybe they will um they will start trading. Yeah, they might. They very well might. Here, 
a little bit because we have an uphill but oh let's for at least for now make sure at least mildly full with six do that and we will use one of our consolidated bees Can you make the trains longer than eight carriages? Not that I know of. You can't go into edit there max and push it above eight. No. Because oh for oh for, for what yeah. Here when I come for this thing here, um it, for a number of rail cars, max is eight. If I go plus it just goes down works down to, to zero. Right. So eight is max. All right. And again, in which is very telling from one of the things you said earlier on an earlier episode, that where in reality they would use um, uh, multiple engines towing um, a train of, of cars so that a um, one with more tractive power you could use fewer engines so it's actually cheaper than a bunch of cheap engines kind of thing kind of thing yeah. you, one, one expensive engine versus three cheap engines or whatever is in the game terms but we yeah, don't we don't have you, that option here because in in reality if you've got you know three cheap engines you've still got to pay um you've still got to pay the wages for then three sets of locomotive crew Right, that as well, absolutely. On a more expensive engine, you've only got to pay one set of labor costs, only one set of maintenance bills. Okay, well, let's see. What do we have here? We have wood up here. We have um, leather down here. Do you think maybe at Essen we do a furniture industry? Might be... Yeah, if we've got the things we need, yeah. Um, let's before we do that, let's come and look at like Koblenz here. Um, okay, one hundred and five thousand citizens. Uh, Frankfurt might be big enough. Yeah, Frankfurt's big enough to want that. They also want China. That's Ooh. porcelain or whatever you want to call it. Porcelain China. Um, obviously the same basic thing. Um. Does that mean we can set up? Does that mean we can set up the Alvik porcelain works? <laughs> um, yeah. Um, does that have some sort of controversial history or something involved with it? Sometime later. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Um, I guess we could. Let's let's see what I've I've spotted the stock. I've I've spotted the stockpile of what looks like um, China clay or whatever it is. Yeah, there's um, what it, what is it? It's feldspar. Okay, and that needs coal. And what is uh, I sort of missed? Yeah, down here. Spar to make. Yeah, um, feldspar, um, and coal. So, um, hmm. Well, we have um, actually that not that far away, but um, I don't think that's where think we're we, gonna set up. I the... think we'll go for furniture. I think we'll go for furniture. Yeah, to start with here, we we may be getting to the China as well soon. Um. I don't know if that's the this is Cologne would probably be a better place for it because it'd be closer to the Feldspar and there's and we could build a um, uh, uh, link to the coal mine just off from it so that would yeah. actually be a that would be a better choice for there in which we probably should do um, the porcelain works there so we're gonna go with a factory here let's throw the factory over on this side and um, I'm going to just see if that naturally gets enough of what it needs. Okay, got a lot of wood already, lumber. And, um, well, no, because I don't think it was in demand, no leather. But it does have leather down here, so. And they have 56 leather, so yeah, they've got like more leather than they know what to do with. 
Nope, and the one going north up to Essen already um, has mostly leather on it. There's only so much leather housing you can make. <laughs> so much leather housing and push yeah, an army they're actually considered la leather housing the clothes different than the the leather but yeah it is made with well no you actually need some leather yeah for the later hosen as well as that yeah okay <laughs> okay so that has slightly increased because I believe it was 711,000 getting the um, all men got us 30,000 more citizens but we need to expand I think up here now okay we are now at 3 million we need 2.25 so that we can afford plus afford to start looking at doing um, actually building in like Hamburg so let's grab that we're building for the future here so let's go with one of these good railways hmm. I'm also disappointed in that you can have a max of two train stations in any one town yeah, that is um, a lot of places far smaller and far less important to, than Hamburg that ended up with four. Right. And so some of these I really, because I've maxed out on other scenarios and towns, what it can have. Well, this unpleasant issue has been resolved. After my quick victory over Austria, other states now have to dance to my tune. It is necessary to lay the ground for an all-German state, and here the railroad plays a decisive role. I expect your full cooperation. Don't you dare set your hand on my private belongings, or I will drag you in front of the highest board of appeals. Well, sir, that's the way it is. I really don't care about your protest. And what's more, it would be an easy task to simply commandeer your business in the interest of the state. But wouldn't it be more profitable for all sides if we could cooperate peacefully? After all, this is about the state, which is bigger than any single one of us. Well, what choice do we have? And apparently, even for our business, the new situation offers an interesting point of view. A rail network which tightly sues all German states together is quite fascinating. Okay. So let's, after this, let's check our... No, we need to make sure that it's working in parallel. There we go. Okay. And we have more tasks now. Okay, establish an express connection between Berlin and Cologne. Col uh, Col um, secure access to 16 areas. And connect 10 cities, population at least 120,000. And put all your competitors out of business. Heading into a new time. Okay, so they really want us... Um, German war ended. Decision at... Um, Koningsgrat. A few months ago, the struggle for power between Prussia and Austria has escalated, but the fratricidal war has already ended now. The seditious Prussians have managed to defeat uh, the troops of the German Confederation, which have been led by the Austrians. In a uh, cultural victory, the Prussian king and his minister, President Otto von Bismarck, have gained a considerable influence over the German states. Now this in turn leads to the French emperor to grow a sense of alienation. So an easing of tension cannot be foreseen. So tension is going to continue to get worse. Hmm. That is not for the best. And so we can now, we no longer have to buy into each area as we go. So that will help us immensely financially. That 
going up to there. Now. Excuse me. Okay. Good. And signals. Okay, don't go here unless it's clear. Don't go here unless it's clear. And don't go here unless it's clear. Nice big tri triangle. I like it. Yeah, um, I've definitely learned with this thing, if you don't have the ability to stop and rest um, the full length of a train, it can cause a traffic jam. It's not smart enough to realize that yeah. making something too short would be a detriment here. And so that gets that going. So we're going to connect Bremen to Hamburg. And yeah, I think we're just going to run fast trains. And we're going to go from Hanover to Hamburg. And we're going to come from Hamburg to Bremen. And we're going to come from Hamburg to Hanover. Now, I think we should run one of these up to freight train up to there, and I'm Okay, fifty nine forty one. Okay, let's start with a Rhine here. Okay, let's watch the Rhine. Watch on the Rhine, it's the name of a movie and other things, yes. Okay. This is a relatively flat path. Okay, so we're doing 31, 32 miles an hour. And now what I'm going to do here is um, buy the consolidated B. 31, 32. Okay, so now we see that jump up to 36 miles an hour. So that's definitely moving wheat faster. Okay, um, need to update the um, the stream title because uh, we've got people complaining oh. this isn't Hoi 4 anymore. Ah, yes. You're not even on Hoi 4. Sorry about that, crypto. Um, yes, we were playing that earlier, and we can do we can update the stream title. It was earlier today we were doing that. Okay, um, go to the creator dashboard open tab. Sorry about that. We're playing Railway Empire, uh, which I do agree it's a different game. and update information um, didn't up oh yeah forgot to update that too let's do this right Not just the game, but also the title here. Should have added it to it. Well, that's what we'll do. There we go. 
There we go. Now we're updated properly. Okay, because it was road to 56, which we did do earlier. But this is a fun game too. Learning about the unification of Germany here. Okay, bad condition, bad condition. Who, who's bad condition here? Okay. Um, um, yes, we may need to put in some. Uh... Yes, we do. That needs a maintenance shed, and so does this one. I know it's free, and we didn't do that up here, and we need to. There we go. Okay, so no bakery in Konigsberg. Let's take a look. Way out there. Okay, we'll buy that now. We can now at least build out to there. Okay. Now, are there any connection bonuses, or are these all just... Um, oh, there's one. Okay, they want the fruit stand to be connected to the... I know it's more than a fruit stand. Um, probably not enough to make it worth a warehouse. Well, well there's lumber out here. We got whatever, what are these? Um, hops. Yeah, for the beer. Okay, that's just enough to maybe make it worth warehouse worth it. If we get to put a maintenance building in Ulm as well. Oh, yes, thank you. Yes, let's do that. Because those are going to be long trips between. And we can also throw one here, here since it's free. Okay, well. Um, We'll just do that. Where are the supply towers? One right there, which isn't all that helpful. So we're going to put one here. There we go. That way we can run. Oh, well. Let's make sure what we have. Fruit. Well, let's go back to logs. We'll feed some logs in there. We may even feed some hops eventually. If we get more, I'll, I'll I can upgrade this. And we'll do the maintenance building as well. It does. The Carl's rule, or however you pronounce that. What do they want fruit yet, or not? Probably not. But um, no, they don't. Um, but worms probably does. Yeah, well, they got more than they need. Okay. They're getting it delivered from somewhere else, or just... Where are they getting their fruit from? Don't know. Maybe nobody needs it just yet down here. They're going to in time as growth happens. Are these guys running any... These guys still don't even know each other exists for some reason. 
Man, all of that. Now the other thing they want us to do is a um, express between Berlin and Cologne. So. Cologne here. Okay, now that's a requirement to successfully complete this scenario. So we're going to have to see about that. That's going to be a mess. We can bypass all this junk by coming... Hmm, can we? Well, we can swing around here, okay, through here, up to here, and maybe break out around that way, Brandenburg, Berlin. Yeah, I think we can do an express there in time. And we have... Um, well, a few years. So we're going to take that time to expand up into here, I think. Even though we no longer need to specifically buy areas, let's Continue our development there. Yeah, connect up to Fensburg before the Danes do it and try and take it back. Yeah. Danes don't have any army. here oh well I wasn't paying close enough attention it's drawing big straight lines it's only a tiny tiny little bridge it'll be okay <laughs> okay Ooh, you can make make it speedy and let's the one coming from up here to down here don't forget to add all your signals and... Supplies tower, yes, yes. Okay. Um... High towers and maintenance. You don't know how often I forget about doing that and then, then get that bad maintenance thing, bad maintenance. Oh, that's right. Need to do the maintenance even though it's free. Okay. Um, there we go. There we go. I have some intermediate ones. The whole track doesn't need to be completely clear. So I'm hoping, okay, good. They're, they've got pretzels and these guys got meat so that they should be trading in those well enough directly okay let's see this is doing 33 miles an hour let's see if we were to train because we're doing the fast let's see if we were to go with a consolidated B well 38 miles an hour now. Hmm. Maybe. 
Let's let's do another set of trains. From Hamburg to Fensburg. And we're gonna ban all goods. Just mail and passengers. And let's run it with this. And let's do another one from, from the opposite, starting the opposite direction. might be worth doing some um, sort of mass upgradings of older locomotives yeah and because see here these are running at sort of expected speeds with just mail and passengers mm, oh, it looks like we have a jam oh just more bad conditions bad conditions Ooh, what what where where okay they all have um oh these guys this may be the, the weak link in the chain worm should have it worms has it these guys don't but i don't know if they're much of why are these guys still not running any passengers between them. I don't get that at all. So I've almost never seen no mail, no no passengers. What is wrong with Let's encourage mail and passengers. See if that does anything. Once it gets to where it needs to be. Okay, insulated. Yeah, we got the money for this, so let's go for it. Well, they loaded, but loaded nothing. No suitable freight. Why nothing? I don't get this. Because... Is there anything that Stuttgart and Ulm have that the other wants? Or? Well, normally you just see mail, at least, you know, a mail car and a passenger car going. Because yeah, they both, they both are, they both produce the same product. So I understand why they're not trading goods. But what I don't understand is why they're not, people aren't, you know, being passengers. This is moving a good amount into here. Oh, no, we still do need to buy other sections. Okay. Hey, thanks for following. Do appreciate that. Hmm, okay, well. I don't know. Saying missing equipment, that might be water towers. Oh... Due to missing equipment. Okay. Well, um, what's its path? Okay, just between those two towns. And there probably isn't a supply tower between the two towns. Yeah. But we'll stick it there. That should get those two trains once they cross back in the middle there. Because as I, I've been playing a lot of this, this has for me been a very good fun game to sort of zone out and play. And I've been playing 
recently um, South American mission and unfortunately and I know IKB if he wasn't already playing this would probably watch all these episodes but there's not very many of you watching all of these episodes which I'm I understand in the sense that this isn't maybe the game that you play but I, I I'm I enjoy it plus we get to talk about some different periods of history but what I've really sort of come to think of this is not so much as a real-world railroad simulator, which I would say at best it's just sort of fair at that. Um, but what I really find this to be a really good simulator of is a model railroad. Because if you were to look at something like this and build an actual sort of model railroad of, of Germany and try to have a layout this big, it's just really for, for more than 99% of us impractical to do. Um, I had a model railroad layout growing up, so I sort of know, and it just had sort of two towns that connected to a mining area, and HO scale trains would run run around, and then there was a an N scale train that would run sort of into them. It was sort of set up as a mining car um, train kind of thing, so it was a smaller gauged railway, so it actually had two two railway sets on it, and it was really cool. But it's nothing like this. So this to me is a really good model railroad simulator is that sort of how you see this ikb um sort of there are actually dedicated program there are actually dedicated from programs or games out there that are essentially model railway simulators and uh advertise themselves as this but this does reasonably good i say it, it takes a lot for the old um games that I um I played a bit of when I was younger mm -hmm. and where you said that it's there's sort of a fair job of being a you know, real world railway simulator but from what little I've played of it um does possibly an even better job okay do you think that that game doesn't allow you to do things like having you know, two or more locomotives on a train and having much, much longer trains and doing much more complicated things with um, point work and track work and stuff. And also is done on a bit of a... The scale isn't quite so condensed, so mm -hmm. you can actually have... Actually, don't look ugly. Or at least don't look as ugly as they do in this game. Right, okay. It does... Um, the sort of um, railway, the sort of um, scratch the itch that I used to scratch with things like um, Railroad Tycoon. It does do, it does do quite a good job. All right. Okay, I've and, uh, watched a little bit of Railway Tycoon, but I've not played it. Yeah. I just saw the, uh, I just bought the um, the disc from it back at my um, parents' house the other day, and I thought, yeah, I'll keep that. <laughs> Right. But I'll um, remember to start doing now, gamers. We've got to start buying up the stocks and shares in the other companies so we can put them out of business or launch yeah. a hostile takeover. Yes, we do. Okay, so these guys are going all the way over from here to there. Okay, we need to do that. Um, I'm first a little more worried about, well... Okay, because we got, well, about 10 years to do that. And I don't think it particularly helps to just buy the stocks. It, um, uh, uh, merge, no, this action is currently not available to you. No. Yeah, oh. I think you have to own more than 50% or something of the shares. Hmm. Oh well, see that hasn't been an issue with other game or other scenarios buying them out. So maybe that is going to be an issue here. Okay. Well, that will be interesting. But what I want to do, I we're, as we're building up money here, we're going to need to though, like, and I didn't think we did, but we do need to buy our way into Berlin. So Berlin will cost us four million to get into there. And then we got to 
figure out how to get um, an express. It might almost be worth building a dedicated track just for the express train. That's what I'm thinking. I, 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 I'm agreeing even with Even if it runs, even if it runs parallel with existing stuff. Well, what I'm thinking here is I know your, your, your feed is slightly delayed from listening to me talk, but I'm thinking about coming here and going south of Essen and sort of cutting along the, the hill ridge line here, linking up to, hopefully maybe I can link up to the, the track here that tunnels through. and then use that set there and then just short of this um, three-way junction south of Brunswick do that parallel track again and bypass all of that and swing up around Hool Cattle and come into Berlin from the north is what I'm mm -hmm. thinking about doing that sort of. So use a little bit of existing track just where the mountains and here, but otherwise run its own double railway through all of that. And obviously use a little bit of just to get north of, is this the Rhine here? Yeah, get north of the Rhine here. Um, use, use all that existing so we're not overly doing all of that. But I think that's what we're going to do. So, well, um... Do we buy our way into Brandenburg then? Well, I think first let's build some of the earlier railway because we've got to do that anyways. And it's going to be expensive and I would rather have the deep pockets. available oh damn that's gonna be a bit of a problem might just have to bite the bullet and blast a new tunnel yeah but I'm hope I want to use half of my old tunnel oh, not parallel connected there no I'm not going to Oh no, I was supposed to. Oh. Um, thought we were. And spitting us out right on top of the. Yeah, no, I was. I thought we were connecting to this. Okay. No. Not letting me connect. Might not in let the, you oh, oh, connect. Oh, oh, oh. No, not in the mountain. Okay, it's not letting me connect in the mountain. Ah. Ah, that's frustrating. I might go for the the low point just safe of the existing tunnel and try and either blast or fancy earthworks to get through there. Oh, if you start a Laying a parallel track from, I'd be able to get it to parallel the tunnel. Oh no, I didn't to do that. Well, let me save all this before we make too big of a hash of it all. Okay. Um. Uh. 
Okay. Continue playing. Okay, I understand what you're saying, so if we could come here and do a parallel track. No, it isn't allowing me to parallel through the tunnel. I think it's acting uh, like a bridge. I think it's acting like a bridge and it can only be double width. Oh, that's annoying. I, in that case, I would say, yeah, go for the low spot, just say for the original tunnel then. Best bet. Away there with a reasonably short tunnel. Right. Which may just be the price we have to pay. The price we have to pay. I don't think that would cause any serious traffic jams. We can put some, you know, we'll keep that clear. We'll move the supply tower somewhere else. Keep that from being a problem. So we only have to pay for the tunnel once, really, so that won't be double that price. Okay. Second one is what? Okay, there we go. There we go. Yeah, a lot cheaper the second time. Now, don't block. We're going to move this one further forward and do this. We might as well do that. And we're going to see about getting rid of these two. Signal towers. Okay, and that's already saying don't go there unless it's clear. So uh, that shouldn't be too long now. Um, well. Some supply towers going, so we'll do that there. Yeah, I guess instead of these signals here, we'll have the supply tower serve basically the same function. And we'll put a couple of supply towers along this route, but in a okay. Well, although we've waited too long, we could now do our, probably should have done that Cologne to, oh no, it was, yeah, Cologne to um, whatever out here. Um, I'm out, uh, wasn't it? Yeah, to, we waited too, waited too long, but that might have been able to do a, um, do enough speed wise. How's Kessel doing for 88? So let's let's just have fun and we'll s no we won't we won't add anything to that one. Bremen grows and they could use another factory here. And we could use the money so um, that it'll bring in, but we want to link it to something efficient here. Okay, do we have much cheese here in the north? 
No, there's milk, reasonably close. Yeah, over here and um, up here, probably even closer in a, in a less congested. Oh no, right here. Yeah, no, that's that's very close. Yeah. So train loading, please wait. Yeah. Okay, well, I like that. We can get the milk and cheese out and places will in short order start demanding cheese yeah if they don't already cheese is a great way to store protein um, yeah okay it needs 65,000 but these will grow and they will need it okay um, where does that go that goes to here so um, We're going to add a rail car, car to here, and we're going to encourage milk but allow other things, because if we overly do that, and as we're learning, we're going with our consolidated bees much more. Does it not see that it, it, ha yeah, it has milk? Maybe we made the train just a little too fast for it to register to the demand. And Kessel grows. Wow, we're really growing here. Now Kessel Well, Frankfurt needs just about everything, so including smoked ham. You use smoked ham, they can use China, um, they could use candy, they could use the cheese, use wine, use clothes. So, um, what would be easy to make here, is, I guess? Um, I'm guessing that smoked ham would be because we've already got pork coming in haven't we yeah let's let's look at that um okay so we can do a smokehouse here so we need what is this salt wood and pork uh-huh we've got the well, let's see oh, no, the wrong part of the town Okay, we've got the pork, we've got some wood, and we have salt here in plenty. Um, where is the oh, wood's coming from up here? Okay, and salt, I don't quite know. Um, it's, oh, also from out here. Okay, so that would be a great thing. Yes, thank you. That would be very good. Okay, we're going to do a smokehouse. Um, we're going to stick it over here because we may build another rail station at some point. Okay, so we work a little bit. And woods up a bit. Okay, we definitely need to move. Now for 
Okay, rehabilitation. I don't know. Bonus program. Increases in experience, but we need that. New applications having high levels. Those are all nice, but I think moving towards this class 3B instead of the class or consolidated B is maybe where we want to go. Faster speeds, not quite as fast or quite as tractive power. Um, this will increase our reliability, so let's do that. This has just been an utter failure, and I don't understand why. Um, it's not technical. Is it that it takes too long to get from place to place? Because of the length of the track? But even then, it's not any longer than so many other long stretches we've got, isn't it? Is it? I don't think so. I mean... I don't get this. I don't get this at all. Because right now it would be best just to scrub those trains from operating because they're costing us money. And not that we can we can't afford it. We can afford it, and that would be fine if it, if we were moving some some goods, some services. Well, let's throw. Carl Schulte Ohm. And. So I think You'd always we're... change some of those trains that you've already got to be Carl Schulte Ohm instead of spending the money on. No, new... I'm, I'm, when I'm doing it, I'm going to use the other um, bigger engine because I think we're going to be moving more goods than passengers, but I wanted to see. Okay, yeah, now they're loading bread in massive amounts. And let's see. Um, we'll, we'll do your advice for the reverse. And I want to I see speed between the two, two cars once they're going. Yeah, that might just be a game bug and having something come from outside might break it or something and make it start working again. It might be, and it might could be something like that, but I mean, games aren't without bugs. And I, did, I definitely did at first think that maybe because this has gone through a bit of an upgrade. Okay, we're going to, now that you're starting, oh, oh damn, I, I messed that up. Okay, well, um, waited too long. Okay, well, um, now let's let's grab this one here. We're going to change this one from Ohm to Karshul, but we're going to get rid of this Stuttgart leg. Okay. So I pick I figure it'll pick up a lot of meat and wanna go take that to Karshul. Where's our big long train of uh, bread? Right here. Are we That's... following that in then? Well we're moving that. That's a thirty six. I wanna see here if this should now load to go to the other place. Okay, and it's loading meat. Sausages. Okay, and I'm going to, this train here is going to, we're going to change this to the same, to this other route. Let's get rid of Stuttgart, but we're also going to encourage 
meet our mail and passengers instead of production okay so it's moving at 20 29 miles per hour 28 miles per hour and that's moving at 36 so definitely if we're talking about a full train it's no we're not gonna pay the blackmail um, it's not moving as fast now here well it doesn't I think there's some sort of bug in passenger situation here for this because we didn't say not to move other goods sure it's a passenger station you put down and not a not a warehouse yeah you know, warehouses I don't think can go into yeah this is just own train station I don't know. Well, this has been fun, uh, but I think we need to end this episode. Thank you all for watching. Thanks for liking the videos. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you have any railway questions, please post them below. And either I or IKB, probably more likely IKB, will try to answer them in a future episode. Thanks so much. See you next time for more historical gaming.